Good morning, dear students. Last time in last lecture, we have started lesson number two, that is health and diseases. And we have end up our lecture with infectious diseases. Now, what are infectious diseases? The diseases spread through contaminated air, water and food. And the medium of spread of disease are the different vectors. Now, what are vectors? Vectors could be the insects or animal. Means by means of insects or animal, it get spread from infected person to the healthy person. And I told you that observe the given chart of infectious diseases in your textbook. Okay. And below the chart, again, some diseases are given and we have to collect the information of that infectious diseases by our own. Now, among that diseases, the disease enteritis is given, then plague is given, malaria is given and about AIDS, we have to collect the information and we have to complete the same chart. So, we will start with the different diseases. Now, we will discuss about first infectious disease that is enteritis. Now, enteritis is the intestinal disease. What is the meaning of the word? Enteron means intestine and it is with inflammation. Intestinal inflammation manje atadanvar suzene. Now, causative pathogens are the viruses, there may be affection by bacteria or the reason due to worms also. Okay. So, these are the pathogen. Worm manje lahan barik oya. Okay. Mode of infection. Now, whenever there, there are the uh, intestinal diseases or which infect our digestive system. Now, the reason is due to, the mode of infection is due to contaminated air, water and food. Okay, dushit adna panya Okay, symptoms. Symptoms now see, whenever there is Spread due to contaminated air, water and food, there is stomach pain. Then there is fever. When the reason is this about the contaminated air, water and food, then there is vomiting. Because of vomiting, there is loss of appetite. Loss of appetite means Annavarchi vasana kamyone bhuk na lagne. That is called as loss of appetite. And due to this again there is diarrhea and constipation. Diarrhea means dysentery. Constipation means apachan. Food is not digested. One after other there are vomiting. So because of all these reasons we can't intake the food properly there is no digestion of food so gradually there is loss of weight because of this reason now for that we have to prevent ourselves by taking proper medicine and vaccines and prevention and preventive measure what we can do at home we have to eat covered food and clean water Okay, so keep your food covered, take or consume covered food and water, proper food and water and one more thing is very important that is maintain personal hygiene or personal cleanliness. This is all about the enteritis. Now next infectious disease is malaria. Then causative pathogen is one parasite and name of parasite is plasmodium. Very important name. Just keep in mind parasite is plasmodium. When anyone asks you how the malaria causes, it spread by the mosquito bite. It spread through the mosquito. But the pathogen is plasmodium. Mode of infection spread through the mosquito bite. Now what is this? It is caused by the plasmodium and it is spread by the mosquitoes. 
Now see the life cycle of this parasite is going on inside the body of the mosquito. The plasmodium is growing inside it means in mosquito and if such infected mosquito who carries the plasmodium inside its own if it bite to the normal person then the person can infect with malaria. What are the various symptoms? When there is cause of malaria or a person is infected by malaria there is very much fever, high fever then there is chill and shivering. Thandi was ne ani thar thar vatne thandi was untapene. Okay. Then there is fast heart rate. Means than the normal pulse rate is quite fast. Okay. Then if malaria is severe. Zarto jasta vadla. Then there could be the mental confusion. Means it can affect our nervous system so there could be mental confusion we can't remember the things properly we can't respond the uh, things properly so these are the various symptoms now prevention and treatment what we have to do in such case we have to first prevent us from the mosquito bite avoid mosquito bite means keep yourself safe from mosquitoes then regarding small children when they are going to play then they have to cover their legs and arm properly means they have to wear long clothes apply various mosquito repellent gels or cream on the skin while sleeping you can use the mosquito net or different liquids are coming nowadays then um, regarding the vaccination we have to take proper vaccination for the treatment these are the preventive measure and we have to take proper medicine for the cure and again one more thing you have to maintain personal as well as public cleanliness or hygiene next infectious disease is plague now plague is bacterial disease and name of the bacteria is Yersinia pestis. Alright. Now see, this bacteria was cultured by one of the scientists. The name of the scientist is Alexander Yersin. Alexander Yersin. Now to study the bacteria, he have cultured the bacteria at that time in 1894. Then thereafter, the transmission of bacteria from rodents to the human beings. What are rodents? Rodents are the small mammal, burrowing mammal. The example is rat. The first time the transmission of this plague from rat to human being was found out in 1898. Okay. Now how the transmission takes place? Now transmission takes place by means of fleas. Now fleas are the small, these are the small wingless, wingless jumping insect, jumping insects. Fleas are small wingless jumping insect and fleas feed on the rodent's body. Now they suck the blood from the rodent and they stick to the rodent's body from the outside and they feed on the blood of that rodent and then that flea get bite to the next person means healthy person and again by means of these fleas there is a transmission of plague from this rodent to human being and then transmission or infection going on day by day or one after other. In such way because of fleas. Fleas are the medium of the transmission of the plague. So in this case the symptoms we can um, collect are the fever, then chill, then again headache is there. Then muscle pain is there. Muscle act means muscle pain. Then 
फटीक मीन्स थकवा दीज आर ऑल आर दी सिम्टम्स विच आर नोटेड डाउन अबाउट दी प्ले नाउ सी टू प्रिवेंट अस फ्रॉम प्ले वॉट वी हैव टू डू now nowadays plague is not there it is completely destroyed so in such a case that time we have to destroy the rodents properly or we have to keep ourselves safe from the rodent so this is about the plague next infectious disease is aids now what is the long form of aids A for acquired. I means immune. No. D means deficiency. And S for syndrome. Now, what is the meaning of syndrome? Especially, syndromes are the signs or changes regarding the coming illness. These are the sign or change or changes signs or changes of illness now when there is illness we can count the sign of it the so same way the meaning of syndrome is now causative pathogen is virus and name of virus is hiv now see the meaning of hiv h for human i means immuno deficiency v for virus okay now as it affect only the human human immune system so the name of the virus is hiv means human immuno deficiency virus now when the person is affected by or infected by this virus then how the disease spread from one person to the other person now there are three main causes or mode of infection first is due to the unsafe physical contacts between male and female if male is either infected and female is normal then there could be the infection by this way due to unsafe physical contact the same way if female is infected and male is um healthy then again infection caused by such way second is from the infected pregnant woman to its to her child it can spread from woman to the child or mother to the child next way is next mode of infection is by the blood transfusion means by using by taking or giving the blood from one person to other if unclean needles are used then it can be uh, infected or infection can get to the other normal person and in this way the disease spread symptoms are the fever high fever is there then sore throat ghasa korda hone then fatigue fatigue means thakwa and frequent weight loss as their acquired what is the meaning of a acquired means all the diseases are, are comes to the infected person means person in with the aid person infected by remaining all the diseases as the immune system of the person or the victim or the infected person is so weak all the diseases are coming towards it and all the infections are to the victim and so there is frequent weight loss found out in the person now what we have to do regarding the prevention and treatment now see there is no cure for the aids but the rate of the disease can be decreased by the proper treatment okay the rate of spread 
of the disease can be decreased by the proper treatment and about the aids again we have to see in detail in next lecture after this we will see about the chicken pox the disease this is also infectious disease now see we will see about the chicken pox now see about chicken pox chicken pox again is viral disease and virus spread from person to person while breathing means medium of spread is air now when there is infection of chicken pox we can find out or we can measure the symptom the symptoms are headache and severe fever is there then small blisters could be found out on the skin these blisters are filled with the water and these blisters have dimple in between the blister and after some days it get dry and scabs form on its scab means cover cover manje khapli pakadne manto apan cover pakadne cover tayar hone so these are the symptoms we can um count then mode of infection if we are in contact with infected person then the infection could be caused to us and there could be infection of chicken pox to the nearby person or by using the clothes or utensil of the infected person the infection can occur uh, now about the prevention and treatment now regarding prevention we have to prevent ourselves we have to keep ourselves safe from the patient or the victim or the infected person then about the treatment now there are there are many homemade remedies are there but with that we should take proper medical treatment so this is about chicken pox now we will discuss about the who what is the work of who the meaning of who is world health organization this organ this organization help us regarding various health issues and provide us the medical treatment free medical treatment sometimes if diseases are severe then see the head office of the world health organization is in is at switzerland in city geneva okay now the organization was established on 7th april 1948 so 7th april is celebrated as world health day now see different countries are the members of who near about 193 countries are the members of who and our india is among them one of among them and in india the head office of who is present at new delhi new delhi now see this organization help us regarding various health issues then it aware regarding different diseases to the normal public so related to this we will discuss about the pulse polio campaign now the national department of health is running the campaign about the pulse polio and the name of the campaign is pulse polio campaign and this campaign is to ad administer the polio vaccine to the maximum number of children under the age of 5 this vaccine is freely provided now see this vaccine is taken under the two booster uh, doses and these booster doses are given at the interval of 6 weeks now see with this booster doses we have to take all the remaining doses also whenever there is campaign and protect our child from the infection of polio nowadays polio is 
near about eradic eradicated or destroyed from the india still we have to take care of the child and nowadays through the various media the film actors various social workers are aware us regarding the different diseases and how we have to protect us from the different disease and they provide us the facilities medical facilities regarding the health here we end the lecture good